let me improvise really quick before I go out. Um, all right, so I feel like I want to say something and I'm going to say something short but deep. Um, simple and logical, but also multi-dimensional. <laughs> well, for example, I'm sitting now in this room and it's been repaired. Well, not repaired, but it was um, renewed. So, and now it feels more comfortable. It feels like, yeah, this is something that is pleasant to be in. And it's a long story why it's been different. Not about this now. This video is not about this now, but that feels uh, much better. And just a few days ago, I made another video that I didn't post, but I saved it on my phone because I wanted to save it for myself, where I was still uh, speaking in this room and there was this old wallpapers in the background. And I knew that I'm going very soon, I'm going to sit on a different, um, how to say that? Well, it's going to be different and I'm going to speak about this. So here's the thing. Back then, I imagined myself uh, in a different surrounding. And here I am in a different surrounding. And it's the same space, right? So it's like, it feels like it's the same space. I mean, it's the same apartment. It's the same city. It's the same point in the point on a planet. But you see, informationally, it's already changed. And energetically, it's changed as well. The same goes for personality. Personality is not something stable. And if something bothers you in yourself, you don't, you don't have to uh, wake up with this thing every single morning. So you can uh, accept that, realize that it's there and it's like eternally. Uh, it just has the same right to be as you are. But after you accept its right to be, you switch your focus to something that you like in yourself and by focusing on that you make it bigger and if you're going to observe yourself it's like you're going to notice that you are information and energy you're not something stable you're not something solid it may look like this but it's not and which is very interesting is that that idea of uh, new wallpapers or me sitting here that was coming from one space, which is imagination. So you can apply this onto your future plans, with what you want to have for yourself. And because everything comes from the exact same field, field of imagination, it's where everything comes from. And then it's been manifested. And how, which is really interesting, if you want something, for example, I want something, but this time I'm so flexible. I'm like, I want this, but at the same time, I understand that probably I want not uh, specifically this, for example, not specifically interaction with this particular person, but some sort of energy that I want to have in between me and someone else. And this person just reminds me of that. Just because I see something in this presence of this person, I just see something and clicks in my head. And I'm like, oh, this is what I want. But probably it's not supposed to come from this person. You know what I mean? So it's... Uh, and I'm open for different options this time. I'm not that obstinate with the outcomes. I know that uh, spirit works in a ways that cannot be imagined uh, spirit, I mean, like everything. Because here uh, in this world and just in the language, there are a lot of distortions when we speak about this. Um, some people perceive spirit as something separated, but it's not. It's, uh, you know, physical, as I said so, uh, in my video, physical is a kid of spiritual, but it's not even a kid of spiritual. They are just one, but expressed differently. And um, not, um, so uh, it all comes from the same field of imagination. And it's awesome just thinking how interconnected we all are. 
how this interconnectedness comes from this uh, hmm. from this true nature which is oneness and unity and how in this true nature <laughs> what, we what we may perceive here is distance or time they do not exist there so people from totally different places totally different backgrounds totally different families totally different everything how they can impact each other it's unbelievable <laughs> and it's so fucking beautiful it is i mean i'm so different already it's just it's mind-blowing because i remember how i got to know about someone and man i never was the same and <laughs> I just look at this person and I see so much in me that it still needs to be healed, integrated. Uh, but at the same time, just exploring so much, I cannot put it in words. It's, it's so unbelievable. And it's just how every single situation like this proposes me to expand, proposes me to choose new road instead of old road. Um, I realized that, well, all generations, they lived in a battle, basically, and they raised their kids, preparing them for a battle, but no, it's a chain of suffering. Um, so new road is different road. And so the point is, you know, I'm just, wow. That was before uh, cold season started. No, uh, cold season already started when I got some other person, but it still was. Uh, <laughs> and I focused my attention on that moment. I feel it as if it was yesterday. My memory now is precise. It's sharp. It's I feel like because I do not hide from myself anymore, I really remember everything that clear. Because uh, my protective program doesn't block anything because I'm open for everything that comes there. So, um, so yes, I think I am not going to speak too much. I have to recharge my phone a little bit before I go out. So I just wanna say, I see how amazing this interconnectedness is. It's unbelievable. Yeah, totally different everything, but it's like, wow. When I look at this person, I realize like the world is complete with this person, but without this person, it wouldn't be. And this is something I see when I look at people uh, and I resonate with them. This is something that I felt uh, back in, back in, well, uh, when I was looking at, at another person, at another person, that was the same thing. I was like, like without you, the world would be incomplete. It's exactly what I feel every single time when I look at people who I feel resonance with. So this is unbelievable. I'm like looking at this person now, different one, and I feel the exact same thing. I can never even imagine the world without this person. You know, and I can, of course, it can be applied onto me as well. Um, everybody here has <laughs> some sort of uh, hesitation. You know, in this world, we have this opportunity to hesitate in ourselves. We can question our worth all right we can question we can question our worth in this world it's not all the worlds are like this no it's an option everybody has this option here that's why that's why everybody can experience the self-doubt but and it's easy to see how another person completes the whole world rather than to see how you complete the world. I 
And it's all about total well-being. And those programs of programs of bottle, they definitely have this dissonance with this knowledge of well-being, because well-being has no space for bottles. I've noticed actually a very interesting thing. The manifestation tip, like wish, feel, let go and enjoy. These four steps and then it happens and you don't even know how. And I've noticed the less I think about, oh, how it's going to happen, the less I overvalue it, so it, it seems very easy, or I don't even think about this that, that much, it happens in a blink of an eye. And it's all, again, a matter of just this, of imagination and idea, you know? All right, I'm finishing because I want to have a walk. So as always, know thyself, know thyself. Hmm.